you. No. Yeah, because you were experiencing it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what interested me was how quiet yeah. everyone became, yeah. which was quite nice too. Yeah. Mm. It's almost as if the physical pain of the paint touching the paper and being absorbed matches you becoming absorbed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite a yeah, yeah kind of experience, isn't it? Yeah. Decore, decore petufia, decore terago, decore iai, decore petufia, co decore. For a long time I thought that social justice was something far away, issues like uh, fair trade and bananas and coffee and chocolate and stuff, so it's kind of fuzzy and, and far away from me, distant from me, so that's the, the bigger circle, but recently I've been realising that it's a lot closer to me, so that's the more concentrated dot, and there are issues of social justice in my, envi in my close environment, and that might be different things, but they are just as important and very diffused as well, those little dots, you know, it shows that there are lots of areas that need to be in my focus to concentrate on social justice. So it was about uh, how it's sometimes difficult to express what you want and how this black cloud can be over your head, a black cloud of prejudices, of uh, limits that you have to pass to express what you want and to be what you, who you want to be. Um, I wanted to I wanted to kind of encapsulate what I see as the epitome, really, of of a social injustice, and that is in fact the conflict between Israel and Palestine. Uh, my image is supposed to be the the separation wall, which divides um, the West Bank largely from from Israel, um, often. Farmers will have their olive trees on one side of the wall, their village on the other. Um, for me, the wall is a barrier. Um, it represents occupation, repression, conflict, abuse of human rights, of Palestinian human rights, and abuse of power. Um, my father's Jewish. I have family in Tel Aviv, so I try to see both sides of this, this debate, but I find it quite difficult because I've done a lot of work in the West Bank.
Um, what I take away from this, and this, this ties in really with global issues, is that there's tremendous hope amongst the Palestinians that I've worked with. Some of them have told me they only have hope. But for me, that's a really powerful message because despite all the privations, despite all the repression that they undergo and the, the daily humiliation, indignity and oppression, they still believe that there, there is the possibility of some kind of justice for them and some kind of peace. My image represents um, a refugee camp where I first taught in Palestine and the other part of the image is my parents' headstones. My parents were lifelong campaigners for racial justice and the lifelong part is important I think because um, I once heard it said that what is justice um, it's actually just a constant struggle against injustice and what is injustice well it's um, the abuse of power, its bias, and its bigotry. Um, and I think it is a constant struggle. Um, and so that's what my image represents here. Yeah.